In this training video, we will discuss how to get a file open in Video Surgeon. And there are really several different ways to do this. The most obvious is probably by going to the Open button and then browsing your computer and going to a folder on your computer where you have video stored and then selecting any one of those. Let's just do an example here. And as you can see, we have a video that opens on the screen. And there you can see a picture of it. So the first way is by using the open button and we left click it and then we browse our computer and we select a video. Number two, and this is sort of a convenience tip, is that if you also right click this particular button, you'll see a frequently used list option. So in this case, we've only opened one video, so there's only one showing here. But if we've opened 10 different videos, you'd see 10 different links here. And so by right clicking, you can quickly get to a previously opened video. So that's a second suggestion that you may want to remember. A third way to open a video is simply to grab a video and drag it and drop it. And as you can see on my screen, when you drag it and you hold your mouse down, you see the little cursor from your mouse as well as the little plus sign on the screen. I let go of it. And you can see right now here in the background, um, it is importing this video. It's going to take a few seconds. And there you go, you can see that it is open on the screen. So that is a third way. There are two other ways that I'll briefly mention. One is the use of the sniffer module. You go to the sniffer module and you detect a video and you, and you then select download and play. It will download this video, it will open it in Video Surgeon for you to use. And I won't go into those details now. We have a separate video on the sniffer module which you should watch. The final thing I'll mention is that you also have the ability to rip a DVD. Here again, we're not going to go into any detail because there's a separate training video on using ripping, but if you have video stored on a DVD that you'd like to open in Song Surgeon, you can use the rip button. The bottom line really is that any time you want to open anything in Video Surgeon, it needs to be on your computer, on the computer or on some type of a portable disk or hard drive where you can access it. It must be, di it must be digitized, in other words. And so with that sort of as a background, your sources for video are really almost unlimited in the sense that wherever you can find a video and get it into a digital format, you can access it. The common places are going to be from the internet, whether it's YouTube or any of the other major video downloading sites or any other place that you might be able to grab a video from the internet. If you can grab it and get it on your computer, you can use it. The second source, of course, are DVDs, which we've just mentioned. And again, you can't open a video directly from a DVD you're going to first have to rip it, put it on your computer, and then you can open it in Video Surgeon. And the last thing is from a video camera, whether it's yours or someone else's. So that will conclude this training video on opening videos in Video Surgeon.